welcome to part two of my everyday makeup routine. So I've done my foundation and concealer and I've set it all as well. So if you haven't seen that, go back to part one and make sure you watch that first. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I usually do finish my face first. So I'll do all my contouring and highlighting and blush and everything like that. Then I'll do my brows and my eyes. Um, so that's just what I'm going to do today. My bronzer I've got is the Hoola Benefit bronzer. I just take that on the F6 contouring angled brush from MUA. So I just take the tiniest little bit and kind of brush it off on the side and then apply it in circular motions under my cheekbone. tiny tiny bit, really rub it off and go down the sides of my nose like so and then a bit more and around my temples and across the top of my head. You can rotate that sort of down the edge of your face and a bit underneath as well. Okay, that's bronze there. Now blush, I found the best blush. Um, I was looking for a really good blush for ages. I just couldn't find one anywhere. And then I found this one, it's really, really good. It's all rubbed off again. And that's just the poor packaging. It's a collection blush. And it's kind of a bit shimmery, which I wouldn't normally go for, but I really just do like it. And it's in um, 04 Trouble. So I just take that on this brush. Again, this is an unbranded brush, but it's just a small powder brush really. I'll just take a little bit and then in circular motions just sort of, I, I almost put this on my cheekbones so my bronze goes underneath, my blusher I put on my cheekbones and my highlighter above. I found that works quite well. So I just blend in in circular motions. Again just using a really small amount because you can always add more. Which I think I will a little bit. Highlighter and highlighter is my favourite, 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 favourite makeup product. I just love it. I don't know why. It's weird. I've got the um, the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish highlighter in soft and gentle, and it's just oh, it's such a big. I love it. I've hardly used any, as you can see, and I've had this six months, and I use every day. I put so much on it somewhere. Um, so I put it on with the F4 MUA powder brush, and the MUA brush is actually really good. Anywho, to close some highlighter because I love it, and then I sort of squash the brush between my two fingers like that, and then I'll just go across the top of my cheekbones. And I also take it from under my brow round, so I'm making this C here. So I just go round like that, so that the light will fall and hit the highlighter here. And that just gives a nicer look. Same on this eye. Let's see. And I just take some down my nose, a bit on my head, and a little bit on my chin, and on my cupid's bow also. And that's that. So at this point, um, now I've finished all my sort of face powder product things, I just take a cotton bud and wet it and get all the product off my lips because it really does dry my lips out which doesn't look good when I put lipstick on. So I just take all of that off. Like so. Next is the brows. And the only thing that I ever use to do brows is this amazing, pretty dirty MUA Pro Brow Kit. So I think I got this when it was on offer so I only paid I think £2 for it, £1.75 something like that and it's got a mirror in it and then it's got all these colours so I will use this one to go over my eyebrows first of all to get the shape, this one I add for colour, this then can work under the eyebrow as the brow highlight but I don't intend to use it. This is a wax that you can just put over the brows to set them in place. 
you also get a little um, little tweezers with it and a little brush but I did lose the brush so I improvise with this brush which is an unbranded flat head can you see that just a small little I don't even know what it was for originally probably an eyebrow brush or something so I take this colour here and I just go over my brows just to get the shape and fill them in a bit My eyebrows are so unruly, it's so annoying. So it really does take time to kind of get them under control. And they never match as well, I don't know why, they just, it's so difficult to get them to match. <clears throat> okay, kind of got the shape there and fill them in a bit where they're a bit sparse. So now I'm going to take this colour here, which is the darker colour, and you don't really need to brush this on, you just almost like hover the brush over the brow and the brow picks it up off the brush. If you really press it on, it's going to make it really dark, which is fine if you have super dark hair, but my hair's kind of, and it looks really, it looks really dark on camera, but a light brown, I'd say. Now you can see how much they don't match, which is so annoying. It just takes a bit of time to get them to even up a bit. That will do. So I take some wax on my finger, just warm it up with my finger. And then I'll just, I just sort of dab it on. I don't tend to wipe it because I've done that before and I get a massive brown line all the way down here. So just dab it on a bit. And again, on that side, that's my brows. Next for eyes, I really like this. It's the 17 Wild Metallic Eyes Cream Eyeshadow in Wild Nude. And it's really nice, it's really creamy. <clears throat> I'll just take a little bit, put it all over my eyes. You could be super messy with it because it's a really neutral colour and no one will know. I just take it under my bottom lash line as well. So that just gives me a nice base for my eyeshadow to stick to. Now, for eyeshadow, I'm really, really loving the MUA Undressed Palette. It's a dupe for Naked One by Urban Decay. Some really nice colours in there. I really want Undress 2, which is the dupe for Naked 2, but I can't find it anywhere. It's sold out everywhere. It's sold out online, it's sold out in Superdrug. I just can't get hold of it. So if you guys know where to get it, let me know. So first of all, I just take this small brush, again unbranded. It's just a really small eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take this colour here, which is... shade 10 so it's quite dark brown so I take some shade 10 and I just put it in the crease of my eye and it goes on really nice and it blends really nice and that's definitely helped by the cream eyeshadow that I put on originally so I'd go along the crease and I just sort of concentrate it in the outer corner also. Okay. This is a really quick eye routine because it is my everyday makeup. This is a bigger eyeshadow brush. Um, and I'm going to use this and I'm going to take shade 4. Yeah, that one there. Shade 4. So I used... Yeah. Shade 10 in the crease and the one above it, shade 4. I'm going to put over the whole eye. So it's a nice kind of metallic beige, I guess, kind of colour. And I just will dab it on. Then with this brush, I just wipe off the excess on my hand. 
and I'll use it to blend out the outer colour right in the crease and blend the two colours together also. And I do, I know this is quite a dark look for day to day, but eyes are really small so if I don't really accentuate them they always look they're really closed. So I do tend to have to wear quite dark. I still like neutral colours, but just dark neutral colours to open my eyes up a bit. Okay, so I just drag the colour under the eyes. Like so. So this is what they look like at the moment. Next I'm going to take my eyelash curlers and just curl my lashes again. This really helps to make them look open and make my eyes look more awake. So next I'm going to use um, a brown eyeliner. And I really like this one. Again, it's, really, it's all rubbed off. I think this is cheap, cheaper brands and their packaging isn't great. This is the MUA Extreme Contour Liner and it's in brown and it just rolls up and opens like that. It's just a normal pencil eyeliner. But it's not a really nice use of brown, especially in an everyday look because it really does not matter if you just go wrong or it's not straight. You really don't notice with a brown. And it's more subtle and it's just a nice look for everyday. I take that underneath as well. like so. Next is mascara. Now for mascara I use Max Factor Full Slash Effect Mascara and it's just in regular black. Now I bought this, I think Boots were doing a 3 for 2 and I got it along with my foundation actually, my Lumi Magique foundation and it was 10 99 but I think I got this one free because I, the foundation was 10 99 and it was something else as well. Um, which I can't remember, but I don't think I'd ever pay £10.99 for it again, but if it came off for sort of £8 or less, then maybe I would. It's not the best, it's got quite a nice brush. But I have known better, better, why do I keep saying foundations? Better mascaras. So I just put that all over my lashes. in the eye. Um, so what I do to clear up any mascara that's underneath is again just use a cotton bud and wet it and just go underneath and really sort of tuck it in underneath the lashes. You see the other end for the other eye. So when that layer has dried of that mascara, I actually use a different mascara and I use the Jordana Best Lash Extreme in black. Again this is an, an American brand. Um, got it from my cousin when we did our makeup swap and it's it's a cheap mascara and it's rather clumpy but it really does give you a lot of length and if you use the false lash effect first that really separates out the lashes so they don't clump together when you use this if you just use this they tend to clump together quite a lot but this drying first separates them and this just adds length then Okay, so now that's dried, I'm going to use my Jordana Best Lash Extreme to go over the top of those lashes. So just do exactly the same thing I did before. So I don't know if you can really see, but this eye does look a bit more awake than this one, and that's with the extra length. So I'm going to do the same to the other one. So that's my mascara done. Lastly is a lipstick. Now I do have a bit of obsession lately with lipsticks really out of the blue because I never used to wear lipstick. I went through a phase of using lip gloss all the time 
Um, and then I just didn't use anything. I just didn't tend to accentuate my lips very much. I do a lot more eye makeup than lip. But lately, I'm just loving lipsticks. And the lipsticks I'm loving are the collection. I've said loads of collection in this video. Volume Sensation lipsticks. And they come in this packaging. So it's a nice pink tube with sort of a little logo on the top. And they are really good. They're hydrating. They stay on for so long. Um, and they're just really good. I think they're maybe... Three pounds, four pounds each, but they're always on offer for different multi buys. You can get three for two, or I don't know, three for ten pounds, however it works out. But today I'm actually going to use a natural collection. So this is from Boots, um, the Sheer Natural Lip Color, and I've got this in moisture. It's a moisture shine in berry sorbet, and it's a really nice red kind of color. So I'm going to use this one today. It kind of matches my top too. Okay, so that is my everyday makeup routine. So if you haven't seen part one, make sure you go back and watch that. And thanks for watching. Collection blah, 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 blah. It's a collection blush. It's the MUA Extreme Contour Liner, and it's a. It's the. I would. It's. I it. It's an all. It's an all right mascara. It's not the best.